Now, Western countries have recently accused China of alleged forced labor and human rights abuses in northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Local workers from the region's textile and cotton industries have refuted those allegations. Chao Yunfei reports. For those who live in the vast Xinjiang countryside, a factory job with higher wages can be life-changing. Hanzada Kuwarban was born to a family of farmers in Kashgar. She says her new job at a textile company provided health insurance, taught her new skills such as sewing, and helped support the family. This job has changed my fate as an ordinary girl who came from the rural area. The experience has increased my knowledge and my income. It has enriched my life and helped me find the meaning of it. A major industry in Xinjiang in textile manufacturing whose raw material comes from cotton. This northwestern region of China produces more than 20 percent of the world's cotton. But earlier this year, Xinjiang cotton, which is exported worldwide, was hit by allegations of forced labor in its harvesting and prompted several global brands to boycott its use. China has denied the allegations. It cited data showing the mechanization rate for harvesting cotton in northern Xinjiang fields has surpassed 90 percent. In the southern fields, it's 70 percent. The cotton industry has helped many, like Mahmoud Tursun, to shake off poverty. I'm a farmer in Xinjiang. I want to tell the American enterprises and other related Western companies that we have the control of our own land in Xinjiang. The cotton production is mechanized and doesn't need much labor. Please don't deliberately smear Xinjiang. Xinjiang officials say the employment in the region is in accordance with law and that both employers and employees have the equal rights. They say labor forces are fully respected and the workers have the absolute freedom to choose their working location. The rights of workers of all ethnic groups are protected by the law. The law details remuneration, vacation benefits, safety and social insurance. Meanwhile, the workers' rights and interests in religion, culture and language are also respected in Xinjiang. And there is no coercion at all. Latest official figures show Xinjiang has seen GDP growth of over 3 percent in 2020 compared to a year ago. The steady development, Xinjiang officials say, is prompting more residents to proactively pursue their dreams, thanks to the stability of the region. Zhao Yunfei, CGTN, Beijing.